Hello everyone. I will wait a bit more to see if some more people join us today and if somebody will be brave enough to say hi. Hello. Hello everyone. Okay. Julia, Jana, Julia, Ingrid. Hello. So, uh, we can start, I think, and people will slowly gather together. I hope, I think that today there are a lot of lives, YouTube lives and Facebook lives. So, yeah. Okay. Um, today we will be making a, a desk drawer, we will be altering a desk drawer, um, which I kind of <laughs> turned upside down. Uh, this was uh, once a tower drawer, so it was standing, but I was constantly moving it, it was on my way, Every, everywhere where I move I run into it so i decided to flip it down and use it like this on my desk because i need something like this on my desk for a smaller pieces when i'm crafting so i thought this would be perfect to use like this so i flip it down i already um uh, started preparing it I colored it with um, a coat of white gesso um, and I covered um, my drawers with two coats of white gesso and a coat of white impasto paint. Oh, everything is from Finavar. Um, I also did one drawer because I wanted to show you what we will be making today. But first, let me show you how this uh, was before. It was a wooden drawer and I already had some um, decoupage papers on it from way back, years back. So I colored um, everything, as I said, with two coats of white gesso and with a coat of snow white impasto paint. Uh, so I prepared it and it is white and I can work on it further. And this is the drawer that I already made. It's dirty inside and I haven't painted it yet inside. I will do this also. But first I wanted to do the outside. Uh, I use the molds from new, rele new release from Redesign with Prima. Um, it's uh, blossoming spring, I think, yeah. And I used also some texture paste and so on. And we will be doing this today. I also did some stamping on the sides. And, um, aha, okay, I forgot to mention this. This was actually like this before. Uh, no, it was not like this. It was like this. <laughs> But um, because I flipped it, I needed to put it like this, but it's actually better because it is um, picking out a bit and I can easily pull it out even if I don't put the handles on this. So, um, if you are ready, we will start. I will also be um, decor decorating the uh, drawer from the outside. So we will be starting with this and then we will be moving on to our uh, drawers. For the top of this um, box, I decided I will go with uh, some Finavar tissue papers, which are really gorgeous and so easy to work with and they are perfect to create background with them. So this is the first thing I will start uh, doing. 
and I will be using um, soft matte gel with it. Um, I will be applying, I will be applying soft matte gel and uh, putting on my rice paper, uh, my sorry, my tissue paper, and um, then we will be coloring it to uh, make background even more beautiful. I hope you see and hear me well. If um, anything is not okay, please let me know. And we are starting to do this. Uh, so, as I said, I am beginning with uh, covering my drawer, my box of the drawers, with um, soft matte gel. And I will be attaching my tissue paper. Um, this tissue paper is actually Finavar tissue paper. It's like silky texture um, and it's journaling minis butterfly messages. Um, it, I will be using only part of these papers um, with, the with the transfers, with the pictures that um, go well together with what I decided to do. So, I'm just covering a drawer with soft matte gel and then I am attaching my tissue paper on this. And then when we are finished with this, I will be covering this tissue paper again with another coat of soft, soft matte gel and I will be preparing them this way also for colors. I will be using on, on it. So this is it. I will be now adding, as I said, another coat on top. Thank you, Denise. It will be here to, re to watch a replay, so no worries. Enjoy your day. <laughs> Okay, so we are just going over with another coat of soft matte gel. It's a bit glossy now, but when it dries, it is transparent and not glossy. This is only now when this is still wet. Okay, like this, and I will continue with the second one, like this. I just need to see if this is where, yes, and I will be again covering with gel medium it would be better if I took a bigger brush <laughs> I could be quicker then but it's okay and I will be just oh okay this was too fast um oh don't worry if it if it uh, doesn't fit perfectly because we will be adding some colors on top we, uh, which means that we will be covering some imperfections okay just try to put it the best way you can Okay, and the end part, again, salt mud gel, and pressing it down onto salt mud gel. Uh, I hope you see it, you don't see it till the end, right? So, no, wor no worries. I will just cut out and we will move here on this side so I can show you what I'm working on. I think I ha I need to put camera a bit further next time because these are big pieces and 
Yeah, you cannot see the whole drawer. Okay, so I'm going on top again with a coat of soft matte gel. I will be doing that part that is out of camera later. Okay. Okay, so we did this. Now we have to dry it a bit. And then we will add some colors. Perfect, Tammy. Show us what you will make. We love to see. So I'm now drying this tissue paper. Um, there is a possibility. I don't see all your all of your comments. Uh, usually when I go back, I see that you were commenting more and I didn't see it. I'm not sure why, but Facebook doesn't show all the comments in the chat in between. So if I'm not answering uh, some of your questions, don't think I'm ignoring you. I just don't see it. Okay. Hi. Hello, Caroline. Yes, Tammy. You just take time. Um, sometimes the biggest part of preparation is thinking about what we will, we will be making. So just take time and slowly do it. Okay. So now I, I took, um, heavy white gesso. This is actually a primer from Finovar. It works like primer and um, this is what I covered my uh, drawers and my box of with drawers with and now I will be using it to dry brush over my tissue paper a bit um, to make it more smooth and not so um, so that this um, um, photos won't be so visible. I want to have it the, a, a bit smoother. So I'm just taking a brush and I am dipping it in a gesso and I'm dry brushing over. I hope this shows on camera well. Otherwise, let me know. I will try to close it. Up. Maybe I can show you. It's like this. Okay. I'm just dry brushing it. Don't have a wet brush. Have uh, a dry brush and you just go over a transfer to just smooth it a bit. You can help yourself with your hand even. I think I will take a bigger brush because I want to be finished sooner. This one will be perfect okay and just smooth it with your hand or with the cloth or with anything and you see it's getting such shabby look it's not so strong anymore it looks more shabby and this is what I wanted to achieve. Of course, if you like it, you can also leave it like it was. Hi Liliana, hello. This is white gesso that uh, you have also clear gesso, but I'm not working with clear one. You can see the white uh, white on top it's not uh, for preparation of paper it's to achieve a bit more white a bit whiter look so it's more shabby and the designs are not so strong 
because it doesn't go with the rest of my designs if this is too strong. So I won't be doing, okay, I try to see um, to where my camera goes. So I don't go off the camera. Okay, look at my hands. <laughs> they are dirty. Okay, I will stop here. And I will do the, re the rest later. So. Uh, Deb, you can use white paint, white paint if you want to, but this is easier to control. Uh, white paint is a bit thicker, so, um, but you can of course use it. Uh, so now I will go with paint. I will use paint now, so you will see it. Um, I will use um, white in uh, I will use uh, boudoir pink in pastel paint. So uh, you will see that you can use also paint. Um, I just prefer to go with gesso when I'm dry brushing it with white. But of course you can do that. No big difference, a bit thicker, you see. It's a bit thicker than gesso. So I'm adding a bit of this color because I want to add a bit of more rose to it, more pink. Okay. Yes, yes, Caroline, it's taking away some of the strong lines that uh, tissue paper has. So um, you get the background that is more smooth and it doesn't show up so much. <laughs> so it's, uh, it goes better than with the rest of the design. Okay. Yes, it's a beautiful soft pink, Liliana. It's boudoir pink and it's gorgeous. I was actually planning to use another uh, pink, which is rose, uh, dusty rose, but it was a bit too, I think it was a bit uh, going uh, forward to um, lilac. So I didn't want that because my design of the drawer, if you see, is completely pink. So I wanted something that will match my drawers. Um, now, if you see, when I'm working with color, with impasto, it's, it is more difficult to control it. And it is more difficult to spread it thin. And I didn't want the white to be too strong. This, this is why I decided to go with gesso instead of paint. It is a bit harder to work with this. You see, here I had a bit of imperfection, so I decided to add a bit more of the paint. Okay, I'm trying to read comments also in between. And then when we are done with this part, we will be we will be decorating also the the drawer. Okay, here is another imperfection, you see? Because the paper tour and I will just put a bit more of this 
maybe even a bit of wax on top so this will hide sometimes this happens because tissue paper is quite soft okay so this is this part and now <laughs> my hands are completely dirty and now i will also add a bit of wax i have here indian pink pink um i have here a bit of indian pink uh wax uh, it's really a uh, hard pink wax, so don't use it uh, too much. <laughs> it's only to add a bit of color that we have here, because this is a bit um, stronger pink. So I will be adding this also, but just on the sides of this. I don't want to add it too much. okay and we are again spreading it and just adding it where we think it goes well okay this is finavar uh, wax really easy to use and it adds a special touch to it I think I, my, my hands are getting <laughs> itchy <laughs> because I'm constantly rubbing this so yeah it's quite some steps Uh, tissue paper, Kelly tissue paper is from Finavar. It is um, journaling minis butterfly messages. It's um, Finavar decorative tissue paper. It's really lovely paper and it has so many possibilities uh, to use it. Also for canvases and other mixed media projects. So it's really nice addition to to your stash okay i'm leaving this part because i know you can't see it well and i don't want to go off the camera but i will be finishing this part later when we finish with life uh, i will also be using another uh, two waxes and i will be using golden because i have golden color in here vintage gold and I will be uh, using a bit of old white at the end to just soft everything down additionally a bit. Okay. And again doing the same. It's again the Finavar wax in the color of vintage gold. Uh, Deb, uh, you probably could. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but you can try it. I usually go with the things I feel they work for me. So um, I have gesso and I didn't have the need to try it with paint. But if you prefer to do it with paint, you can try to, to um, mix extender. I think it could work. So I'm adding a bit of this. Okay, just a bit at the end and then we will be adding a bit of white also. And we are then ready to go dec decorate our drawer. Okay. 
okay I can now show you the difference when we will be finished I will show you the difference between the part we made and the part that was before you can see it maybe the if you look at the right end thank you Caroline my hands are like completely completely covered in all sorts of paints <laughs> so I will be now only using old white and then we are finished this works like you know like softener I just want to add a bit of softer touch on some parts this is really nice uh, wax and it's matte wax so it really gives a beautiful shabby effect like this just a bit of added touch okay and we are done i think we are done with this part of course we have more we are not finished yet I will just show you now the difference between both you see this is the part we have made and this at the end is the uh, how the tissue paper looked before okay it's a big difference I think and it just goes well really nicely with our drawer and now we will be making this one I will be just taking one out and I will be pushing this a bit back so I can work here so we will be continuing our drawers and we will be making a pattern with our molds so this is the mold uh, that is from new release from Finavar uh, from, from redesign with Prima and it is this mold this is um blossoming spring mold it's really beautiful it has two birds and some flowers and i already made some casts with uh resin i used resin it's a bit of yellow because obviously i bought a uh, resin that is not uh, completely fresh so it had a bit of um, pieces inside and it didn't mix so well but it's okay because we will be coloring it I also use one of the older redesign uh, molds to make some uh, bees and some butterflies so these are the molds I have here the molds and I will be adding them to my drawer i will be using 3d matte gel again from finavar it is gel which is really good to attach uh, embellishments it holds really strong and um, you can use it for all objects also for some harder uh, some heavier ones like for example metallic objects uh, so i really like to work with it um, I will be putting together some molds and I will be creating another bird this will be separate in between I will have another drawer and I think on this one I will only have um, some some uh, some uh, branches with flowers but I will be making now this one we will also be I almost forgot we will also be adding some uh, texture paste I will be using um, uh, this um, stencil again from Finavar. It is the stencil. Oops. 
it is the stencil vintage wallpaper um, and it also has beautiful flowers so I think it will fit perfectly for this um, for this occasion and I will be applying um, some crackle paste through it uh, with my silicone brush that is an, in a really bad shape don't mind this <laughs> So, I want to see how my bird will come, so I can see where my um, texture paste needs to go. I think I will apply a bit of texture paste here, because I don't have anything. And maybe here, and maybe down a bit. So, I will add my stencil. And I will just apply this uh, crackle paste pretty generously because crackle paste needs to have um, pretty generous generous layer if you want crackles to be visible i'm not sure how much of the crackles we will be able to get now because i will be drying it with my heat gun uh, because we need to work um, further uh, but in perfect conditions, I would let this dry on air because the crackles are really lovely and much more visible when this dries on air. So I'm just lifting this up and I am taking away everything that is left in the corners. I will just put my stencil into the water so it doesn't uh, dry because I can't use it then. And you see, this is crackle paste. These crackles are dry, so this is how it should look like. We won't have so hard crackles, um, but it will be visible. I will now dry this with my heat gun, as I said. But I hope it will still be visible. Uh, Kelly, the stencil is from Finavar. It is vintage wallpaper stencil. Yes, it's a beautiful stencil. Really beautiful. So I'm drying this and hoping it gives me some crackles. And I will try to read your comments in between. Okay, it's cracking a bit. I won't dry it completely. Just so much that I can work further. Actually, it's not crackling so much. This one crackles better, but maybe it will, cre it will crackle more when it's completely dry. I just dried it so much that I can work on top. Now I will be adding my bird. As I mentioned before, I will be using 3D mud gel to glue down my resin pieces. Okay, you just apply generous layer of this. It dries transparent, so even if something picks out, there's no worries about that. And I will be adding it like this, I think, because I want to add another piece here. Okay, I'm not sure this will stick down, 
I would have to hold it maybe later on when it dries a bit I can press it down because it's a bit a, it, a, a bit turned upside okay now the smaller part I will add a small branch that I cut away from the bigger branch and it will be here so it gives more additional texture like this okay do I need some flowers not necessarily but maybe I could use it I'm not sure if I will be able to still cut away this part yes I did it okay and I will be adding a flower here go away go away maybe like this yes okay and just adding it here okay and this has to dry but we will work further it is it is already sticking so we don't have to wait but it won't be completely dry for some time i will just dry it a bit and i will now cover it with a coat of white gesso again again with a dry brush um it's a primer so the um i will be covering it because i want colors to stick uh well to it later um and the resin is of course um not so um how how to say it uh, the colors won't stick so well on the resin as they will if you cover it with a primer okay so i'm just adding a coat of white gesso okay like this and now we will dry it a bit again and we will then apply colors Okay, Kelly, I will accept it later when I finish. Thank you. Uh, the paste, Adina, the paste is, um, the paste I was using for stencil, you think? It was a uh, texture paste from Finavar White Crackle. It is a paste that crackles. okay so i just dried this a bit it is not completely dry but it is dry enough so we can work on top now for the coloring i will use another product from finavar if i find it i have no idea where i put it here okay perfect <laughs> it's hidden behind i will use liquid acrylics this is uh, again color from Finavar, but it's um, it's a bit more liquid than impasto paint that we were using before. Um, so it's easier to reach uh, color flowing, you know, it spreads lighter. So I will be using a bit of a nude color and i will be adding a bit of mag magenta uh, so i get more pink color okay and i will be spraying my uh, composition with water so that i can spread this um, paint easier 
and I will be just taking both of the colors and I will be just adding them to my project. If you feel that somewhere you have too much color, you can just dab it away. Okay. Like this. Uh, make sure you have enough of water so it works and it flows nicely. And make sure you pick both colors. So um, you have the nice color. As you see, I didn't uh, mix colors because I want it to be... I don't want it to be one color, I want it to be two colors, um, so I use both and I just control how much of each I give, okay? Like this, okay? And I will be now drying this. Um, Mariam, this is, it's not red, it's pink, magenta, and it's, um, it's from Finabar uh, Liquid Acrylic. Do you see how texture paste is nicely picking through? I love the effect. No problem, of course. I will be also painting the, painting the sides the same way as I did. I only need a bit more of nude because I used it all. Um, I use more of the nude than magenta because it's magenta is of course a much stronger color i'm again spraying with water and i will be applying color just randomly if you feel that somewhere is too much you can dab it i also like to dab it because i get this fun effect that is more watercolored, you know. And you also can wipe away the strong edges you have on your project. And of course the excess of water that would otherwise take a long time to dry. So we are getting like peachy pink color and a bit too much here so I just wipe it okay and I dry it oh what happened are you seeing the same distorted photo than that I do okay it's okay for the moment, it looked awful. I hope you see it well. I hope you see it well and the quality is not bad. I actually don't see it nice. But I have no idea why. And I will do the second side. I have no idea why this picture looks so funny on my side. Okay. 
like this and I'm just taking away a bit and drying it again oh now it's better perfect I think now picture is better I can almost can't see your comments, so I have no idea what's wrong with Facebook today. Okay, now we will be adding some brown color to this vintage brown because I want this to look a bit more vintage. Oh, we didn't color the upper part. We can do that also. So we don't have to do it later. Oh, I have too much of pink. Um, I didn't color the inside yet. I will do that. But later, and like this, okay. So we have this part also finished. And now we will be adding some browns and some gold waxes. I'm using brown, burnt sienna, one of my favorite Finabar acrylics. Um, it is a perfect brown for vintage, so I really love to use it. And I will be adding it only to, to some parts, mostly in the corners, so that I achieve a bit of vintage look. like this you see it's just a bit more vintage looking and right again like this I had too much of a pink here okay and now we will be adding some bags I will be again using vintage gold from Finovar to apply it a bit on my mold Okay, it's still a bit hot, so it's melting. It's better to wait that this is dry. But it will have to do for now. You see? I think it looks lovely. And I will be also adding some at the sides of a drawer so that I get a uniform look of this okay like this and of course we then do the same thing on the sides and I will show you another thing 
Uh, I want to do also a bit of stamping so that the sides are also interesting when you pull them out. I will before add some brown also here, some vintage touch. Okay, too much. like this and I will be again trying it I will be now again adding a bit of oh no not again first adding a bit of stamping oops everything fell out of my hands I will be using a Prima redesign decor stamp um, these are really beautiful pink stamps um, I see Paris is the name of the stamp uh, set and I will be using this beautiful um, like vintage swirl so I will be um, applying some some um, ink on my stem and I will be stamping it down pressing it down it doesn't have to be a perfect impression because everything is kind of vintage oh okay we have a problem because it wasn't dry enough so we will try to correct this not sure if this will work otherwise I will have to do it again okay it's okay it's a bit darker but it's okay and also again you can do some shading around with some vintage gold okay this is it and we are done we are done and I will be doing the rest of the drawers later and I will be showing you a complete project later on so I hope you enjoyed it I can't see any of your comments I don't even know how many of you are here with me still um, I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, Facebook is not working uh, good today, I think. Um, these are two drawers. I will be making another three and I will be sharing it with you. Um, the whole set of drawers. Um, and I hope you will like it. I hope that you maybe got some ideas for your work and um, yes this is it I wish you a lovely day thank you Jana um, I wish you a lovely day I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend um, and I will be seeing you next weekend again I have no idea what yet what we will be making but we will be making something interesting and pretty so 
enjoy your day uh, your evening whatever time it is at your place and thank you that you were with me um, and we will see each other next weekend again enjoy bye thank you Joanna bye see you next weekend